The journey of sperm from the vagina to the fallopian tubes is an intricate process that involves several stages and complex interactions. Here is a detailed overview of the journey. 1. Ejaculation and Sperm Release During sexual intercourse, ejaculation releases millions of sperm to the vagina. These sperm cells are propelled into the female reproductive tract through the force of the ejaculatory process. 2. Passage through the cervix The cervix is a narrow passage that connects the vagina to the uterus. The sperm need to navigate through this passage to reach the upper reproductive tract. The cervix produces mucus that changes in consistency and composition during the menstrual cycle. Around the time of ovulation, the mucus becomes thinner and more slippery, creating a more hospitable environment for sperm to swim through. 3. Uterus and Uterine Contractions The sperm enter the uterus through the cervix. Uterine contractions help propel the sperm further into the reproductive tract. These contractions are influenced by hormonal changes and the presence of sperm, creating a conducive environment for sperm transport. 4. Journey through the fallopian tubes The fallopian tubes are the ultimate destination for the sperm, as this is where fertilization typically occurs. The journey through the fallopian tubes is complex and requires the sperm to overcome various challenges. A. Migration Sperm navigate through the fallopian tubes by using their tail-like flagellum to swim against the flow of fluids. They are assisted by contractions of the tube walls and the cilia lining the tubes, which create a wave-like motion to help move the sperm in the right direction. B. Fertilization If sexual intercourse occurs around the time of ovulation, an egg is released from one of the ovaries and drawn into the fallopian tube. The sperm must reach the egg within a specific window of time for fertilization to occur. Only one sperm penetrates the egg's protective layer through a process called the acrosum reaction, leading to fertilization. 5. Fertilized Eggs Journey to the Uterus After fertilization, the resulting embryo undergoes cell divisions as it moves down the fallopian tube towards the uterus. This journey takes several days. The embryo reaches the uterus as a blastocyst, a multicellular structure. 6. Implantation in the uterus If conditions are optimal, the blastocyst attaches to the uterine lining and implants itself. This process typically occurs about 6 to 10 days after fertilization. Once implanted, the blastocyst continues to develop and grow, eventually leading to pregnancy. In summary, the journey of sperm from the vagina to the fallopian tubes is a remarkable series of events that requires synchronized interactions between sperm, female reproductive structures, hormonal changes, and precise timing. This complex journey ultimately leads to the possibility of fertilization and the beginning of a new life.